Hey, what's up, guys? Rulenel here, come back at you with some more batch tutorials. I'm gonna get the Windows command line started up here, bring it right down so you guys can see what we're doing, and let's get to doing some programming. <laughs> now, today I'm gonna be showing you guys another really simple and pretty easy concept to understand. But remember, we are still in the very early stages of the series, so we're going to be going through some pretty easy to understand stuff, and obviously we're going to keep building off of that once we get further and further into the series. But today, what I'm going to be talking about is something called data types, and uh, this is very easy to understand. Um, these aren't actually commands, it's just a type or a form of data or something that you're going to be manipulating when you're actually writing a program or writing a script. You do have information and things that you want to be able to work with. So uh, it's pretty easy to understand that like a number is a number though. Some letters are text and some words like a sentence is just some, some piece of information that we want to be able to work with though. But all of these do have kind of a specific name, but you aren't really going to be able to see these in the shell. Like if we type in one, it's obviously going to tell us one isn't really a command or anything that we can run. So, uh, but I just, I do want you guys to be able to know that if, if you have something like a, a one or, a, or maybe a zero or even a negative num, a negative number like negative one or negative 30, how about, how about we get 9,000 in there, too, just because that's kind of cool. All these are what we call integers, and uh, it's just a number. I'm sure you've probably heard of this in algebra or uh, back when you were in math class, when you were, when you were a little baby. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but these are just numbers. They are whole numbers that we're going to be working with. Now, uh, in batch, you wouldn't normally see something called a floating point number or anything that uses a decimal, like four point. 98 or something, or like 3.14 if you want to be pi. <laughs> I like pi, hey, whatever. But yeah, in batch we don't use these too often, but in other scripting languages and even other programming languages, of course, we will be using them. So I do want to introduce that theme and that idea to you guys, even if we don't use them so much in batch, because it's really going to help you later on if you keep learning programming languages and other computer-based things. So another thing that we're going to be taking a look at, though, is uh, numbers don't really help us out too much. If we're going to be getting information across to our users and actually being able to tell them what's going on, we need to be able to actually say things to them. We need to be able to give them text and give them something to be able to read and understand. So if we just typed in letters and words, obviously, like, hey, my name is John. This is a string of text. Each, every, every single one of these, each symbol, each letter, each piece of white space or exclamation point, it's a character. And you can kind of think of a character as a symbol. It can really be anything, as long as it's something that's maybe in the alphabet, maybe it's part of grammar, like an exclamation point or something. But it's just a character, and when you have a whole lot of these, when you have a sentence or a phrase or something that you want to be displaying, what this is called is a string. It's a string of text. Now, normally in other languages, you'd be uh, using a quotation mark here, double quotation marks, or even single quotation marks in some cases. But in batch, we don't really use these too often. Um, for output and some other things, we don't use them because we don't really want these, uh, these quotation marks to be visible when we're displaying them. And echo, the actual, the actual program and command that we use to display the output, will interpret them. So, in some cases we do use these quotation marks, in some cases we don't, because batch is just plain old weird and that's how it works. But uh, that is kind of what I want to be able to show you guys. These are the data types that we're going to be working with. Something called strings, we have integers, and that sort of thing. Uh, there are obviously a lot more out there. <laughs> I definitely recommend you take a look and see what else you can find on data types. It'd be cool if you guys could kind of do a little bit of your own research and see what else you can learn. But I do want to be able to show you guys at least what we're going to be working with later on in the series. So when you have information and you're trying to work with and manipulate this data, it's going to be in forms of either a string or an integer or a number and that sort of thing. So uh, we're going to be working with these a lot more in the next video. I will be sure to see you guys then. And uh, I hope you, uh, you stay beautiful until then. <laughs> Goodbye, guys.